Hello, welcome back to the channel. So it's been fairly rubbish in terms of weather in the UK for the last few weeks. Lots of clouds, lots of rainy nights. So I thought I'd look at something different. Today, a lot of people will use the ZWO ASI Air app and run it on Windows by using a program called Bluestacks, which all works great. But with the advent of Windows 11 being released and its claimed support for native Android applications, I thought I'd take a look and see what's involved in getting the ASI Air app running natively on Windows 11. And all is not what it seems. So I'll go through the steps that I've undertaken, but let's first start of all with the caveats. So let's go through some of the caveats. The first one is, is that the Android for Windows subsystem is still in preview, which means your Windows 11 installation, whether you've done that manually as an upgrade from Windows 10, or if you've received a new laptop with Windows 11 pre-installed, the subsystem that you need won't be available to install and certainly won't be installed by default. That dovetails into caveat number two, which is it's only available today for Windows Insiders. The Windows Insiders program is a Microsoft system where you can join and leave at your will. When you join it, it enables you to get updates and features which have not yet been released to the general public. And the Android for Windows subsystem is part of that as of today. The other strange thing is that it's only available to insiders inside the USA. So again, we have to work around that and I'll go through that in the video. The third caveat is your PC or laptop needs to support something called hardware virtualization. Not all PCs or laptops are going to support this. I'll show you what mine looks like in my BIOS, which is where you have to set it. And you can see there for my ASUS motherboard, the option inside my BIOS is called Intel Virtualization Technology and I've set that to Enabled. The fourth thing is that the Android subsystem for Windows only supports the Amazon Android Store and today the ASI Air app is not on that store, it's only on the Google Play Store. So again there are some workarounds that we need to do to sideload that in to make it work. And the last one, which is a strange one, but I'm told that the Android for Windows subsystem requires an SSD for where your Windows uh, installation files are loaded from. So if you're running on a HDD, a mechanical drive, this apparently won't work either. So with the caveats out of the way, let's crack on and go through the steps that we need to get this up and running. So the first thing we need to do is add a feature to Windows called the Virtual Machine Platform. And simply from the Start menu, go to the search bar and start typing in features. You'll see in the first three letters, it's come up with the option to turn a Windows feature on or off. Select this, scroll down the list until you find virtual machine platform, put a tick in that, press okay, and you will get a message saying you need to reboot your computer afterwards. So let that go through an install, it's really quick, and reboot, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to join the Windows Insider program and select the correct channel. So again, from the start menu, if you just start typing in update, because the option to join the Insider program is inside the Windows Update feature. So in here, there's an option down here called Windows Insider program. If you select that, there will be an option to join. Now, because this PC is already joined, I don't, you don't, won't see those settings. It'll ask you for a Microsoft account that you want to link this to. So if you haven't got a Microsoft account already, again, that's free to create. Once you've done that, it'll ask you to reboot your computer. Go through that process, and when you've rebooted, come back in and check for updates. So back here, you'd always hit check for updates until there are no more updates available, and it says that everything is up to date. At this point, your machine is enrolled into the Insider program and you've got all the latest updates for the core Windows OS that you'll need to do to move on to the next step. Okay, the next thing we need to do is update the Microsoft Store application. Now, the built-in Windows applications such as Calendar, Clock, the Store are not updated through standard Windows updates. They're all done through the Store itself. So if you go to the Microsoft Store, click on this icon in the bottom left, which is the library icon. And after a few seconds, I say seconds, it's probably a couple of minutes, you'll see a list of all the applications that need updating and an option to update them all. 
You can see on mine here that they've all been updated, including the store, which is the key application that needs to be updated for this step to work. Once you're clear and everything is showing us up to date, we can then move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is for people outside of the United States. So I can close the store down, go to the start menu and type in Lang and you'll see language settings. This is where we need to set our set language settings to be United States. So it fools the store into thinking we actually live in the United States. It's as simple as that. So make sure your Windows Display language is United States, English, and then down here in your region, set your country or region to be United States. Mine's currently set back to United Kingdom because once you've done the, uh, the part where you actually download the subsystem that you need, you can put your language back to United States or United Kingdom. Um, so once you've done that, close all those down and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, we're nearly there. So the next step is to actually get the Android for Windows subsystem and I've got a link here which I'll put in the description below which takes you straight to the store link and then you can hit get and that will launch the store when you press open yours will say here get or install so go through that process allow it to install and once it's ready to open don't open it just yet but we'll move on to the next step okay so we now need to download some android tools which will allow us to connect to our android virtual instance as if we were a developer so these are on this link here i'll put the link in the description and you want to download the sdk platform tools for windows you just need to accept this license agreement you don't need an account and it will download a very small zip file and what i'm going to do is once that's downloaded is open that and I'm going to extract it to just my temporary folder. If you decide to extract it somewhere else, just make a note of where you've put it. There's no installation required. It's just a list of files that exist in that folder. And then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is to download the ASI Air APK file from ZWO. Again, I've got a link to it in here, which I'll put in the description. So from the download section, go to mobile app pick ASI Air Android and there's a direct download here set that going it's 176 meg and then what I've just done is when it's downloaded I've just moved it to my temporary folder as well you don't need to do that as long as you know where the path where you downloaded it to is for the next step but it just makes it easier for me uh, to show you just by moving it to C colon temp that's nearly done We'll move on to the next step. Okay, that downloaded and I've moved it to my C temp. So we've got the platform tools which we downloaded earlier. This is the Android SDK. And then we've got the ASI Air APK, APK file here. So I'm just gonna minimize those. The next thing we need to do is to run a command prompt. So from the start menu, just type in CMD, right click it and say run as administrator. Then I'm going to go back cd backslash temp and then cd platform dash tools and in here we've got the tools that we downloaded earlier so this is the important bit here we're going to say adb space connect 127.0.0.1 colon 58526 Now you'll see you'll get a message saying um, something started but it couldn't make a connection. So what you need to do is from the start menu type in Android and you'll see Windows subsystem for Android settings. Select that and you'll get this window up here. So the first thing you need to do is turn developer mode on. It will be off by default. So toggle that on and then up here you've got a files option. Click this icon over on the right hand side and this will actually start the Windows subsystem for Android. Depending on the speed of your PC, this might take five seconds, it might take a minute. You can see here it's saying starting and then it brings up this dialog, which you don't close this just yet, but you can just ignore it. So I'm just gonna minimize it. Now back in here in the settings, if you hit refresh, there should be an IP address that appears. Don't worry if it doesn't match your local area network IP settings, such as 192.168. 
We can minimize that now. And if we now go back to our command prompt and try the connect again, we'll just see a, a message that says connected. And then the last bit is to actually sideload the, AP, the APK file we downloaded. And that's done through ADB as well. So we type in ADB, install, and then the path to where your APK file is. And that's why I put it in ctemp, because it's, I know where it is. And if you press install, it'll press enter, it'll say performing streamed install. This takes, again, probably less than 30 seconds. And it says success. So now, from our start menu, you'll see the ASI Air application. We're done. If I fire this up, you will now see what hopefully is familiar to a lot of you. It's going to minimize all these windows. And there's the ASI Air app. Now, what I found is no matter what, my AS ASI Air is currently switched on, but it won't find it if I do a scan. I have my ASI Air set to join my local network. So I happen to know its IP address. I think it's that one. Hopefully, spinning wheel. It's one of two. No, oh, yes, service connected. So you get the bog standard sort of uh, Android notifications. Do you want to access this device to locations? I'll say whilst using this app. And there, I'm in the application, press enter. And because it thinks it's the first time I've run it, it's going through these tips. So I'm just gonna say, got it to all that. And there you go. So a fully functional ASI Air on Windows 11 without BlueStacks. Why do this? Well, right now, BlueStacks is probably the better option because it's a lot of faffing around to do to get something set up. And especially when the Android subsystem releases later on, it's still not gonna support the Google Play Store and Microsoft haven't given any indication that they will support it. They seem to have got in bed with Amazon for this particular part of their Windows roadmap. So anybody who doesn't want to bother with BlueStacks or has had trouble with BlueStacks, this might be the video for you and might be the way to get it working. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As ever, if you found it useful, drop me a like. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'll hopefully do some more videos in the near future along some unusual more topics than uh, just bog standard photographs. Okay, so catch you later. As ever, clear skies everybody and take care. Bye bye for now.